Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. This is a brand new horror survival game called Serum. It's coming to Steam very soon. I've been given early access to the game. There is a demo coming out on the 5th of February. This is an Unreal 5 engine game. So this afternoon I decided to give it a go with Predogs UEVR Injector Mod. In this video I go through the whole process of getting the game to work. This is my first time trying the game with the mod. I was very impressed with the 3D. The 3D looked really, really nice. Hello? And this is the game running on the Sweetheart, default settings. The airport will leave any minute now. Did they at least tell you where you're going? And I'm going to go through the usual routine, set standing height, set standing origin, and recenter view. There was an issue with flickering textures in one of my eyes. Having the same issue with my last video, which was Stray, I knew basically how to correct the problem. In the UEVR menu, go to Advanced Options, go to Consoles, slash Shivars, and I'm looking for this command here. Light Culling dot Quality, select the slider and move it all the way to the left, that's going to turn it off. That command corrected all my texture issues. Fortunately, I'm leaving today, right after the surgery. Surgery? Something's wrong? No, everything's fine. They need to replace my timer, that's all. Don't worry. I'll be you can see me putting my thumbs up Where to give I? you my seal of approval. Once I was in the game, I noticed when I moved my right thumbstick, it moved the camera up and down. So I needed to make sure my camera was on a level plane. Go into the camera options where it says decouple pitch. Make sure you select enable. That's going to prevent the camera looking up and down when you move your thumbstick. The camera will only move up and down now when you move your headset. I also turn the screen percentage down to about 70. And I mess around with the tone mapper.sharpen which makes the textures a lot sharper in the headset. I go back into the UEVR menu and I'm just checking everything. And I turn down the motion blur quality to zero. In the game settings, I'm going to turn everything down to low. Textures on high, anti-aliasing on low. I put the frame rate to 144. I don't know if that's going to help. TSR quality is off. View distance is near. Shadow quality to low and vegetation quality to low as well. Also motion blur is off. So now I'm going to jump into a brand new game. Need the serum. Everything seems to be working fine. This is a very early access demo and I noticed throughout the gameplay that a lot of the buttons He's on the controllers serum. were not working. Don't forget with the UEVR mod the motion controllers are emulated like a gamepad. Now because this game was not optimized for the gamepad a lot of the buttons again on the controllers did not work. 
I could use the controllers to move forwards and backwards, but a lot of the buttons were not working. So for the majority of this gameplay, I had to use the keyboard to input those commands. Like I said, this is a very, very early build, so the developers are probably going to be working on the gamepad controls at a later time in the game's development. At this stage in the gameplay, I noticed a weird effect on the screen. And that's something I'm going to try and address later in the video. I hope it works. Hello? Is there anybody on screen you can see the keyboard prompts Hello? that I needed to press to activate things in the game. Identify yourself. Adam Stewart, Serum Tester ID 1XC027. Where's Steve? He's dead. <sighs> Damn it. VR was working, the game's in sixth off, I can look around with my headset. It felt just like a normal VR game. I have to remind you this is not one of my first impressions video and it's not one of my UEVR essential play guides. This is just me playing around with the game, playing around with the mod and trying to get the best experience ready for you guys for when the demo is officially released and the game's available. This is not going to be the perfect or most smooth video in the world because I'm just having fun messing around just trying to see how everything works. This is also going to be a guide for you guys when you want to play the game, make your own profiles, that sort of thing. You are experiencing the first symptoms of the infection. What infection? I don't have time to explain. Look around. The central node building should be nearby. Can you see it? Yes! It's in front of me! Good. Inside you'll find a device with a yellow DNA symbol. It's an absorber. You'll need to connect it to your timer. This way you'll cleanse your organism. So now I'm going to try and address the weird artifact on the screen. I'm going to go into the UEVR menu and I'm going to change the rendering method to Synchronized Sequential. That got rid of the anomaly on the screen. At this stage in the video, my arms felt like they were too far in front of me. So I'm going to change the camera angle, bring up the UEVR menu, hold down both the grip buttons on my right controller, and then I can move the camera with my thumbsticks. So I tried to position the camera slightly in front of the main character where his head should be. I need the serum. That's the thing he was talking about. Here you can see another prompt where I needed to hold down the left button on my mouse. So just bear in mind if you're going to try the demo in a few days, the buttons on the controllers still might not be working, so you might have to use your keyboard and mouse as well. I'm sure in time this game is going to work fully with the gamepad, and that in turn is going to be emulated with the UVR mod as well. First of all, take this serum regularly. It'll protect you from the blight. Where can I find it? 
You'll need to produce it yourself. How? Three aspects are its most important ingredients. You'll find them in everything that lives. Unfortunately, that's not all. You'll need plants or even animals as well. Steve had his formula. Find it and gather the ingredients. Then use the device that should be right next to the absorber. It's a fabricator that converts organic matter into purified serum. At this stage in the video, I decided to restart the game and I noticed it was running a lot smoother. And again I mess around with the camera and you can see my body is hidden and I place the camera where my head's supposed to be. Round about now, everything's starting to work. I'm starting to get a feel for the game and I'm just going to play around, enjoy the game a bit. Just bear in mind, this is a working process. Things are going to change. If you have the patience and you want to tinker around when the demo is released in a few days, I think you're going to have a lot of fun with this game. Again, this is a brand new Unreal 5 engine game that's going to work straight away, day one, in VR, thanks to Prey Dog's UEVR mod. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to my little bell. I'll see you in the next one.
I already have some of the ingredients. What happened? Why did you hang up back then? Corporate security started to track us. I managed to jam their signal, but next time I may not be so lucky. We need to keep talking to a minimum. Sure, you're the boss. Questions? What is this place, Richard? Where am I? It's Ground Zero. An area contaminated with a mutagen. This is where all the cable car lines cross each other. The central node building will be your home for a while now. You better learn as much as you can about the layout and the equipment of the rooms. When you're ready, use the radio to call me. I'll tell you what to do next. I need the serum.
I need the serum. That's better. Richard, I did what you told me. What now? You need to come to my lab in the canyon. It's the only safe place. How do I get there? In Ground Zero, you'll find gates to sectors known as biomes. The problem is, the entrance to the canyon is blocked. You'll have to use the cable car. Unfortunately, it needs to be activated first. Oh, it can't be too easy, can it? What do I do? First of all, you'll need to find Steve's access card. It should be somewhere in the node. Next, power up the cable car. You'll find the generator in the station building. And then what? One thing at a time. Do what I said. Then I'll tell you what's next. I'd rather you... Hello? Richard? Ah, oh, prick. Come in. I turned on the power. What do I do with the access card now? Find a card reader in the cable car cockpit and put the card inside it. That didn't work. It will work when you start up the cable car stations in the forest and swamp biomes. It's like a system of interconnected vessels. That's how you'll power up the canyon gate. By the way, you'll obtain a means of transport between biomes. You already know how to activate stations. You'll need power and access cards that belong to the biome engineers. You'll have to find them. I'll be damned. That's all? No. The canyon gate is only opened with a special code. For security reasons, it has been divided into two parts and linked with Biome Engineer's DNA. Each engineer has only one part of the code. All parts need to be retrieved from their timers. So, whether I like it or not, I need to find these friggin' engineers. What's left of them, more probably. Biomes are contaminated with a mutagen. 
couple of years ago, oh. the serum essence was released into the environment due to an accident. Most employees died instantly. Some survived, only to change into mindless monsters shortly afterward. Since then, the biomes are sealed off. Oh. And I'm supposed to get in there? You are one of the few who have immunity. The mutagen won't oh. kill you. Oh. It won't permanently alter your DNA structure either. At most, there will be a little bit more difficult. I'm not particularly fond of things that are not smart. There, Richard. I went through the gate mark with the Roman number one. It's a woodland biome, a forest. You'll find the remnants of the Fauna Research Station there. Todd Bachman was a biome engineer. Where should I look for him? Start at the refuge, then search the station building. Call me when you find him. And one more thing. Look for formulas. The survivors learned how to produce various types of the serum. They called them stimulators, and they used them to obtain skills that may prove useful to you as well. Good luck.